On one of the hottest days of the summer, Splish Splash ushered in crowds while miles away, three Long Island mothers shared their own warning. At least four girls were sexually abused at Splish Splash and nobody did anything. They don't want to be identified to protect their daughters ages 11 to 13 who were on a YMCA camp trip last week when they claim a group of five young men sexually groped the girls in a Splish Splash wave pool. Security escorted the offenders out but did not immediately notify police or take the men's names. The wave pool is a pedophile's paradise and Splish Splash is ensuring that it stays that way. The same five men can return to the park today and nobody would know or stop them. The fact that they let them go without getting their names, any identification, I mean, that's horrible. Hold these men, get a police report filed so that we as parents can then go forward and press charges. There is no greater feeling of helplessness than knowing the men who did this are out there, knowing they got away with sexually abusing my daughter and three other girls. Serious questions about the popular water parks policies, but management wouldn't answer our questions. It's only statement. Splish Splash takes safety very seriously. We are aware of the incident and we're working with Riverhead Police. Parents also blessed at police for inaction, but its police chief says they're doing all they can, hoping to make arrests, reviewing what little surveillance video there is. None, police said, at the wave pool. The mothers say all involved failed. Even YMCA chaperones who did not authorize the park to call police. The Y blamed the park, the park the park blamed the Y and the police is powerless. The girls, however, are left violated and my daughter is having nightmares. The mothers are seeking arrests and are urging anyone who was here last Tuesday late afternoon to check their photos and videos for images of the five young adult men who were wearing similarly logo t-shirts carrying a soccer ball. In Calverton, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. The Huntington YMCA would not take Carolyn's questions but issued a statement saying it's working with law enforcement and that safety is its highest priority.